Hello, today I'm going to show you how to replace your mirror skull caps with painted or whatever you want. I tried to look up videos but they're a little confusing so I'm going to try to make this a little as short as possible. First what you got to do is uh, move your mirror all the way in and up to where that corner's all the way up there so you could access it from down here. All right, so you're gonna get your flashlight and up in here on the mirror side, let's see if this focuses. I'm gonna take the mirror out so you can see, but you're gonna put your, your screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, right in here. Let me show you. All right, so I got it out. This is what your mirror looks like. What I'm talking about is these two tabs right here you're gonna put your screwdriver right in there and it's gonna meet up with this little tab right here so you you're gonna go push it in slowly and you're not gonna pry you're just gonna twist your screwdriver and it should fit in there you got to find these two tabs though from the bottom put your screwdriver in like so and then twist twist out and just as you twist it's gonna pop up you're not gonna do any prying motion you know you don't want to break it and then you pull it further in and twist again and if you want you once this opens up put it in here and twist so you're basically freeing going like this stick it in a little deeper and twist again next you got four Torque screws right here. I don't know the measurement, but it's the star tip. You got one here, one in that hole, one down there in that hole, and the one right there. Just take those off. And if you want, you could take these cables off. This mirror isn't heavy at all, so there's not that much risk. But if you know how to take these off, just take them off. Once you remove those four screws, you're going to bend your mirror inwards. I find it easier. And since I didn't want to mess with those wires, it helps hold your mirror in place. But uh, gently, and all this is gently, you, you don't really need, need a lot of force. All this should come right off. You see, the whole assembly. Everything's gently. This light right here. It's going to hang loose and just take the whole thing out. All right, so this is what you're working with. Now I saw a lot of guys, uh, they try to take these tabs off, but you don't want to end up breaking this bottom tab right here just to take this one out. This is your this is the one you're replacing right here. And the the tabs stick out with it. So what I just did and what another guy here on YouTube did, an older gentleman, he just cut these off since you're not going to use these anyways. Just cut them off. So just get some pliers and cut these off. You could try to re remove them if you want, but I didn't want to risk breaking this bottom tab. And having this be loose all right so I broke the tabs off since I didn't have any cutters I got my needle nose and then just twist it out and this they, they should just come right out what you're left with is this this is just trash to me I'm not gonna use these hopefully hopefully right and then you get your new ones out. So these I actually ordered on eBay um, off another Ford dealership. They were 130 something for the pair, but they weren't painted. Um, but they were primed. So I bought these primed. Uh, and I called my Ford dealership here before this. And they, the skull caps were. Uh, 120 something each so I saved almost half 
or more than half on uh, on eBay from that other Ford dealership. And what I what I did is uh, I took it to my local Ford dealership and they painted it for me, and the total was one twenty six. So pretty good trade off, I think. Definitely will complete the look of your truck. No. Yeah, you just stick those in. These do require a little bit more force, but it shouldn't be any problem. And that is basically it. Just repeat your steps, you know, backwards. Be mindful of that tab right there. It'll go right there. Make sure you, you, you don't bump against it. Um, it's just me filming, so I can't show you the steps, but put your light back in. And uh, your mirror, it literally just pops right in. Try to put it in at the same angle you took it out. Don't forget your screws, of course. But, uh, yeah. I think this will complete, uh, complete the look of my truck. Alrighty, guys. Y'all take care.